Coming back today on Coming Mary, the unicorn of the jungle. <laughs> well, it, just, it has two horns. Really, that's what you're going with here. I think I'm going to do another try. You are such a Jill Coy. <laughs> Coming up today on This Is True Really News. Well, I think it was a secret agent once, wasn't it? Another Florida man, for our consideration, sent in by a lucky viewer. Sure it was a viewer, not a listener? Yes, I'm positive. Because How do you it, know this? It came in through YouTube. They could have just been listening. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Really? She may not want to look at us. And who could blame her? Now... Please like, follow, and subscribe, or follow, like, and subscribe, or subscribe to the like, follow button. And if you find a good story, don't waste it on us. Send it to somebody who can do something with it. Yeah, on, if you find a stupid story. There, T-I-T-R at netradio.network. I'm done. I'll say. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So, 47-year-old Victoria Nasirova of Brooklyn. That's in New York, you know. Mm -hmm. By the way, Buffalo Buffalo Bills fans, even though they lost last night, which was enjoyable. Yeah, who, um, be, who beat them? The Jets. Without oh, my Aaron, God. Without, without Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Yeah. By the way, anybody um, who knows about this, uh, uh, Vlad, you're going to get a kick out of this. Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers, very, very touchy quarterback who you know if you sniff near him ends up with an injury uh may have torn his achilles tendon being tackled in the first series yep that was one of the headlines not one but on facebook one of the lines read hey think about it josh allen has more completions to jets than aaron Rodgers." (laughs) that's fantastic Uh, josh allen is a quarterback for the other team yeah you'd have to okay Google it. Yeah. Anyway, the funny line was, there's only one NFL team in New York. And my wife looked at me and goes, no, there's two. I said, no, there's three, but there's really only one because two of them play in New Jersey. And New Yorkers are willing to, that's a hill they'll die on. Yeah, they will. Unfortunately, the Buffaloes lost. The only team in New York lost to one of the teams from New Jersey. Where was I now? Brooklyn, New York, 47-year-old Victoria Nasarova was sentenced to 21 years in prison for a rather bizarre plot she cooked up against a lookalike friend from Ukraine. NBC News had this. Anyone see it? Nasarova wanted to avoid being sent back to Russia. (laughs) <laughs> where she one wonders why oh no we don't wonder she was facing charges in a 2014 murder according to the uh, queen's district attorney's office Ick. so in 26 wait brooklyn queens they're not the same are they no they're different no. boroughs in new york city so she lived in brooklyn but it was the queen's da's office okay so in 2016 she apparently laced a cheesecake with panazepam a reasonably powerful toxin found only in Russia, and fed it to her friend. Mm -hmm. With friends like this, you don't need to live. The victim survived, but her Ukrainian passport and 4,000 grand were gone. 4,000 grand, $4,000 in cash, gone. Nasarova's attorney said she will. Yeah, 4,000 grand would be 4 million, wouldn't it? Or 58 or something. Her attorney said, in all likelihood, she'll be deported after serving her sentence. You know, if it would have been me doing it, I would have made a mistake with the drug and I would have filled it with marzipan, which I actually like. Which is not the same thing. No, it's a sugary substance. One of them is very tasty and will make your teeth itch. (laughs) And the other is a confection they put on cakes. (laughs) Jessica Thompson sends this one in. Hey, Scott and Tony, here's another Florida man for your consideration. This one keeps... How many Florida men's do they have? Enough to keep running stories several times a day. Apparently, this one keeps trying to like a group. <laughs> well, well, you're up. This guy could be his own group because we know of him. Uh Oh, he's a guy we've dealt with before. Really? He keeps trying to run across the ocean in a hamster wheel. No, no. He's the hamster oh. wheel guy. Oh, trying, trying to paddle to London. Yep. So according to what a is crim- it, take seven or something. Uh, 
According to a criminal complaint, 44-year-old Reza Bellucci is facing or Reza, Reza, yeah, facing federal charges after he was rescued 70 miles off Tybee Island, Georgia, by Coast Guard officials. The marathoner was found on August 26th in his bizarre hamster wheel contraption and asked standard questions. Like, what the hell are you doing? That be- I'm pretty sure that's the first one out of a lot of people's mouths. U.S. Coast Guard officers determined Bellucci was conducting a manifestly unsafe voyage. The manifestly what uns- happens if he ever actually gets out of ways? God only knows. I hope he knows something about ocean currents. Because that's going to drag him all over the place. I actually hope he's an Atlantean because. <laughs> and if a storm comes up, he's squooed. You don't even need a bad one. Just no. Any no. storm, those waves will wipe him out. The manifestly unsafe vessel is a giant metal drum with inflatable buoys on the each side and paddles that are powered by a runner inside. Bellucci was unable to provide officials with the required registration for his water vehicle and informed officials he was heading for London, England. Like you do. In passing, yeah. When Coast Guard officers told Bellucci they were cutting his voyage short, he threatened to kill himself with a 12-inch knife and claimed to have a bomb on board. So he's gotten even a little loopier since the last time we saw this guy. You know what my dad's answer would have been? What? Go ahead. <laughs> it's detonate, please. Are you ready for how patient? He would have said it so well. <laughs> you ready? ready for how patient the Coast Guard is? Mm. After days of trying to get Bellucci to board a Coast Guard vessel, he admitted he did not have a real bomb. And officers were able to get him to disembark at the United States Coast Guard base in Miami Beach, Florida. This was not his first attempt to run on water. First attempt, I should say. No, he we've t- heard of him before. Well, I think we've covered him a couple of At times. Least twice he, before. He has attempted similar voyages in 2014, 2016, yep. and 2021. See, he threw us off there. Now he's doing odd numbers. Right. All of I which. Think the pandemic must have thrown him. All of which have ended with Coast Guard intervention. The pandemic, they should have let him go. See, it ended badly for him, but not nearly as badly as it could have. I remember when that one of them, it came apart and he had to land a find more bleach bottles to you know empty and yeah. add on for more you remember gilligan's island their rafts looked way better than anything this guy's tried so far <laughs> actually this new one kind of looks awesome but it would be more fun on a lake than an ocean trust me oceans are big and have large waves and 80 animals in them mm-hmm. in wales carmarthenshire carmarthenshire yeah, go right ahead. I don't know. Okay. Have any idea. Nobody knows how it's pronounced, not even the Welsh. No, I'm thinking what they did is put English letters together for what they thought it might have been. It's Proto Hawaiian, I think. Carmarthenshire, Wales. Okay. Residents have responded to a condition of a rural road they say is the worst in the county with, according to Wales Online, a rather clever road sign. And I have to agree. The sign they put up this spring reads caution. Remove dentures, adjust bra straps, and secure your nuts. Okay. I mean, really, the, the, that's worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's Uh-oh. good. I like that. Abergelech Road. Oh, boy. Is full of potholes. And people wondering how to pronounce Abergelech. <laughs> anyway, it's full of potholes, and while some have been filled residents believe the road is so worn and damaged it requires yield complete resurfacing in most places whilst the sign is intended to be funny as spokesman said the constant wear and tear on our vehicles is a real issue i'll bet the carmarthenshire council contends that there is no money budgeted for resurfacing but residents say it's quoting now Ironic that the police can check our vehicles to ensure that they're safe for the road, but no one is ensuring that the the road, road is safe, is for, safe for our vehicles. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Smart. Okay, remember Smart. the Arnold Schwarzenegger story from earlier this spring? When in his very hoity-toity neighborhood, he went out and just filled them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rod Stewart did it at his place up in England. You might want to call those guys, although Rod's getting, well, they're both getting old. Um, yeah. Maybe they can hire younger people to come and help you out. 
course, you could. How do you give directions in Wales to people that aren't from Wales? Well, you say, "Are you two Wales from Scotland?" Why do I even talk to you? Woof, Lucille. Why do I talk to him? I don't. <sighs> from Brickbat, huh? From Brickbat. That's uh, over at Reason.com. Yeah. The government of Victoria, Australia, has agreed to pay about $5 million. That's uh, about $3.2 million U.S. to settle a lawsuit. Or 18 bitcoins. Right. Brought to you. No. Bitcoins are worth more than that, aren't they? I have no idea. I can't remember now. I don't care. Anyway, it was brought by residents of Melbourne Public Housing who were forced into a hard 14-day COVID-19 lockdown with no warning in July of 2020. So some ran out of diapers, some ran out of food, some ran out of beer, which is a violation of their civil rights. All three of those things are wrong. Some 3,000 people may be eligible for compensation. In order, it would be beer, diapers, food. Yeah, exactly. Despite the settlement, the government still refuses to apologize to the residents. Oh, welcome to the rest of the world. A report from the Victoria Ombudsman said the Rushed introduction of the lockdown was not compatible with the residents' human rights, but defended the lockdown itself. Of course they did. If it's not compatible with their human rights, rights, you don't have a defense, you, you whales from Scotland. We had to do it to save all the other people, otherwise it would have been killing them. Uh-huh. Kind of like, you, what did I see yesterday? Sweden was laissez-faire about it and didn't have anything worse than anybody else. Oddly enough, so was South Dakota. Uh Uh-huh. And Florida. Yeah. So, meme I saw, and they had headlines, right? Okay. And basically, the years were 2019, 20, and 21, all saying that the N95 masks did not have, you were not inhaling certain something, and it wouldn't cause cancer. Except? And, of course, in 2023, the headline reads, that you may be susceptible to breathing this stuff from an N95 mask and it has been linked to cancer. So apparently... You have to leave them out to off-gas for a while. If you have a good conspiracy theory, it becomes reality in about three years. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.